Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the owner and tattoo artist from the 59 Tattoo Barber Shop in Hong Kong. I approached the world of tattooing at the age of 21 and I was self-taught. At that time I fell in love and found a great interest in tattooing. My style started with doing American traditional tattoos and then later on down the road, I started exploring more about Hong Kong traditional tattoos. So up until now, I have combined the best of both styles into my style. I'm very inspired by three Hong Kong OG tattoo artists by the name of Pinky Yan, Ricky Lo, and Swallow. They are the pioneers of Hong Kong tattoos. In 1940, James Ho had finished his sea travel and bring back to Hong Kong the art and techniques of tattooing. And he had created his own tattoo machine and tubes. He opened up his first tattoo shop, Rose Tattoo, located at the Rose Hotel, Jim Sajer, Kowloon. During the 1950s, a lot of Navy seamen rushing to the shores of Hong Kong. So there are huge market for tattoos and James Ho have to take up four tattoo apprentices. Jimmy Ho, Pinky Yan, Swallow and Benny. Each one of them had opened up their own tattoo shops after learning the technique and skill from James Ho. In the 1980s, a lot of Navy ships have left Hong Kong. The target audience for tattoos have been shifted to the local people of Hong Kong ever since. The American traditional tattoos slowly developed into Eastern style. In what we call Hong Kong traditional tattoos, The drawings and designs were more detailed and had its unique style. 
For example, the facial expression of tiger, dragon, and phoenix were more aggressive. Also, the favorite placement and composition of eagle are the balancing between the left and right chest. And the local people love to tattoo the Chinese religion icon for blessing. The interesting thing is. Sailor Jerry and Pinky Yen have the connection for sharing their own tattoo design by Netta. During those early times. Tattoos were mainly catered for tries and gangsters, leaving bad impression to the public. Therefore, the art of Hong Kong traditional tattoos have long to be forgotten. Drawing and painting are very important to me because I think it plays a very important role in being a tattoo artist. The customer play a big impact in my life cause all my customers become my friends and to have their trust in my work make me really happy. They don't usually ask me anything because they all have trust in me to deliver my best to them. I think the question I get mostly asked is about the history of Hong Kong tattoos. One of the biggest trends over the years are more and more tattoo artists are joining the industry, enabling more different style of tattooing in our industry. Machine I like my working partners because I see and use them every day, and I could only prefer to use coal machine because they give your work so much more class. If you can shave with a coal machine, you can shave with any machine. The meaning of tattooing to me is a lifetime career dedication. 
Hopefully for my future plan is that I can start manufacturing my own coal machine and if the virus allows, I could love to travel to the US to further study more about American traditional tattoos. If I didn't become a tattoo artist, I probably could be doing career work. At this moment, I think I will be focusing on what I'm doing now. I found great joy to be able to shift my own drawing and paintings onto the human canvas.